What's up everybody and welcome back to Adam and Tyler World. Well, thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to like this video, comment below, and subscribe. I do appreciate it greatly. So, uh, Fit Expo 2019 in Anaheim is over. Book is closed. Two days down. It was a success. We had so many people come by the booth. I want to thank each and every person who came by, got their protein drinks, got their pictures, got their autographs. It was awesome to meet every single one of you. I'm just kidding. I wasn't at a booth. I just went to go check out the babes. <laughs> so it was yesterday, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Um, it's going to draw a little bit of a thing, a little bit of spoiler. Maybe I'm filming this on Sunday. I'm releasing it on Monday because I'm wearing my Batman <laughs> tank top still. Either way, whatever. Um, we're pretending it's Monday because I'm going to release this on Monday. But shh, that's our little secret. So I went there yesterday and uh i know what you're thinking what is a fit expo it's a lot of buff people man oh man uh there's protein drinks like i said buff people both guys and girls there's a girl over there i saw at one point whose arm i'm jealous of um it's definitely not a place you want to take your girlfriend i actually saw a guy in line behind me he had a girlfriend she was cute um she wasn't fit expo girl walking around in spandex cute so i was like eh. so I guarantee you, she, he was like, oh, babe, I got this thing uh, coming up on Sunday. Goes, oh, what, what is that? What, what are you doing? You hanging out with the guys? Um, no. Um, what, what are you doing? You gonna, like, buy me something? Um, gotta come up with something. Um, I got this thing I gotta go. What is it? What are you, what are you doing? Um, Philly Spo? What? Phil Spo? No, no. Fit Expo. Oh my gosh! You should take me to Fit Expo. I've been wanting to go to the gym and um, i just been procrastinating. Um, it's almost time for New Year, New Me, New Year, New Me for 2020. Hey! And what better year to see things better than 2020? Mm -hmm. So let's go. You guys like, ah, come on. In his head. That's what he says in his head. On the outside, he goes, idea i would love to take you to fit expo that's it's a genius idea eh, wrong not a good idea um because like i said if you love women and you love fit women you will love fit expo because man some of the hottest women i have ever seen in my entire life went to this i can tell you this now because i'll probably not ever go again because i got my fill but geez i said just Spandex, peachy bottoms, nice boobs, ugh, and all their faces, for the most part, were delicious as well. So, if you get a chance, go, but go without your girlfriend. Tell her you're doing something else. Plan ahead. This poor guy in line behind me, he went into this plan without planning it, and it backfired on him. He had to take this chick with him, and I guarantee you the whole time he had to just laser focus on her. Because if he went five degrees this way or five degrees that way, and she saw it, it's over. Because, oh my gosh, she knew exactly what he was thinking because he's a heterosexual male. And those women are beautiful. Anyway, that's about it for that point. Beautiful women, that's all I'm trying to say. Don't take your girlfriend. Um, and there's all kinds of free stuff there. So it costs $15 to get in. It costs $16 to park. $31. I got to get my money's worth. Besides the fact that I want to try to meet Anna Cherie and Eva Marie and whoever else is a bonus. So let's get into the free stuff I got, shall we? Um, before you do this, you must be prepared to basically sell your soul and your information to the dark arts and the worlds and the worlds to be and the lizard people, whoever, because everybody's like, oh, you want to spin this wheel? And I am a sucker for those spinning wheels things. You know the big color things? You spin it, blah, 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 feel like you're on the wheel of fortune. Yeah, you spin that thing, you're like, you could win a brand new car or a koozie. You, you always win the koozie. It's 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 always the koozie. You never win the car. I've never seen anyone win the car. The car could be nine out of ten spots. You always land on that koozie. Why? Because they want you to win that koozie that says fill in the blanks protein shakes. Like I I'm not gonna put this on my Coca-Cola can and be like, oh you you work out? Yeah. That's why I'm drinking this twelve ounces of poison. But whatever. Okay, let's get into it, shall we? This is something I got. This one was easy. You had just wait in line, give your email address. It was a pretty cool bag for the gym. 
I was like, hey, I'm already starting to, I'm gonna start carrying a lot of stuff around here because I like my free stuff. So I got one of these, so I got one bag. Bing! Let's see. This is another bag I got and I put all my goodies in. I got this bad boy. Oh, there's a story behind this one, if you don't mind me telling you. This is a Gold's Gym t-shirt. I currently go to Gold's Gym never, um, but it looks cool. Um, so I do a little working out. I'm not trying to brag. Uh, they had a couple options to get this free shirt. You could A, do 20 push-ups, or B, do 10 pull-ups. Anybody who's ever worked out knows that a push-up is way easier than a pull-up. That's why they make it half. But it's way easier to do 20 push-ups than 10 pull-ups. So I was like, mm, I'm not trying to impress you, but I'm gonna go with the 20 push-ups. So that's exactly what I did. So the rule was you had to lay down, and you had to pick your hands up once you got to the bottom so you're not cheating, you're going all the way down. So, all right, I go one, two, three. She's counting it for me. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, tell me if you know this one. 10. So my next number is thinking, okay, cool. I've hit 10. What comes next, folks? 11, yes, but that's not what she said. She said, eight, nine, 10, 10, and my brain goes, uh, what? And I thought, oh great, I didn't do this one right. What did I do wrong? I thought I did this one just like the other ones. Uh, oh shoot, I gotta do this next one good because I don't wanna be stuck at 10. So she goes, once again, eight, nine, 10, 10. I went, okay, and then nine, what the, me? Uh, eight, uh, oh, okay, I know what we're doing here. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So she counted backwards after the halfway point, which makes no sense. And I told her when I got up, oh, haha, -ha, you confused me when you did that. I thought I did it wrong. And she said, oh yeah, that's happened before. Then why are you doing it? You're confusing the heck out of people. I did 20 push-ups, no problem. It wasn't the easiest thing, but I did it all right. But if you had somebody down here who wasn't familiar with what they were doing, the whole concept of pushing and way, pushing and letting down, pushing and laying down, you might make them go, huh? And then fall and collapse and not know what's going on. Because that, in my head, I went, wrench in the system. <clears throat> Gears, teeth grinding off, just just falling apart at the seams, just like in my head, I go, huh? But I still just, okay, did it. I said, it wasn't until she said eight that I thought, oh, I know what we're doing here. So please, lady who did that at Gold's Gym, don't do that because you confused me and you said you confused other people before. I said, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and, and expecting different results. Well, you might get different results, but I guarantee you, every single person went, ah, eh, when you did that. So, please stop. All right. That's my little riff for there. Next up, we had some coupons for trues, whatever. That's kind of boring. Um, more paperwork. I got a sticker for humblemuscle.com. I saw a lot of guys walk around there. Nobody was humble. Everybody just, just arms just pulling out. Hey, uh, which way to the restroom? Uh, over there, but you could probably pee wherever you want because no one's gonna argue with you. I got this little glow wristband thingy. Um, ooh, look at that! Is everybody's uh brains going crazy right now? <laughs> Use the force, Luke, and the force is gone. Um, I got this for <laughs> signing up, uh, uh, following somebody on Instagram and liking their post. And guess what? When I got home. I unfollowed them on Instagram. But I got a free uh, shaker. Shake the thing. Uh, I hope I don't get flagged now. Um, we got some superfood wild berry. I don't know what's super about it, but maybe when I try it, I'll let you know. Um, ooh, look at that. We got another bag. I'll never need another bag ever again in my life. I'm bagged out. Um, we got some gym spelled with J. Ooh. <laughs> That's kind of like Jim, but 33% uh, different. Um, we got some more Jim food. I don't know when I'm going to eat this stuff. This is also thing I was actually cool about uh, checking out. It was CBD oil. They always talk about that in the UFC and fighters of Brendan Shaw. Like, oh, you put it on aches and pains. It makes you feel better. That was given to me by a couple of UFC fighters, but I'll get into that later. Um, sorry. This is very boring, I know. Um, we got this. Some food, uh, basically just a bunch of food. I got a lanyard, yeah, I can't get enough of those bad boys. Like I said, a lanyard and koozie, basically the bottom of the heap. Um, oh, and I got one of these things, uh, 
a phone stand thing, a pop rocket or whatever the heck they call it. So you can make your phone do like that when you do selfies. So when you're egotistic and you're like, oh, I've been working out all day, I can barely hold on to my phone. I don't want it to fall in the toilet while I'm taking one of these massive dumps from eating all this bread and meat. So that's what they do. Um, yeah, so a lot of steroids in this hand. <laughs> I actually thought about doing steroids now after seeing all those people. It's insane. You have to go. It's like going to the Grand Canyon or going to Niagara Falls. It's just something you got to do once in your life. Go to go to Phoenix Expo. Oh, we got five-hour energy tea. Didn't know they made that. There was a cute girl at the stand. She showed me that. I was like, all right, what you giving me? She's like, I'll give you some of this. And then, oh, I don't know what I want. Fine. I'll take the tea. Please. Uh, this was in the sweet, no, that's the wrong bag. That's a crunch bag. Uh, this was in the other bag, the previous yellow and black bag that I showed you before. Uh, collagen peptides. I think this might be rat poison. I don't know why they gave it to me. I guess that's what they use. And we got some Keto C8. This is way better than Keto C7. Uh, doctors recommend this 40% more. I'm just making this up. All right, so now let's get into the fun stuff. We got to meet a couple of people. We got to meet this lovely lady. Uh, I've known about her for a couple of years. I didn't know about her until I saw her in another picture with Ariane Celeste, who is a UFC ring girl, who I think is magnifique. But I saw her in the picture with Ariane Celeste about three or four years ago, and I went, Ariane who? Because this chick, Anna Cherie, I get them mixed up. This girl, Anna Cherie, is an angel sent from heaven. You can see she fell. I caught her. She was so gracious and happy that we lived happily ever after. That's why I still live here in apparently my parents' basement. Um, they live very, very far away. It's not their basement. Um, she was super sweet about it, but I thought it'd be cool to pick her up because, hey, look, I'm strong. I can do this. And uh, my buddy, I was like, hey, maybe you could just ask her, like, hey, is it cool if my friend picks you up? Kind of jokingly, but we were separated, so it was a little awkward. And she's like, she told him apparently, Oh, yeah, as long as he doesn't drop me. And he's like, all right, that's fine. He won't drop me. So I went over there, took a couple photos with her, and then it came my turn to, come on, Adam, you can do it. To ask her if you can pick her up. Pick her up! Sweep her off her feet! I said, oh, do you mind if I pick you up? And she went, uh, just don't drop me. And I was like, gotcha. Because I said, she is so tiny. I thought she was like 5'10", 5'11". She's 5'6", or so. Itty bitty lady. Um, but very beautiful. Uh, I was, no problem. I used to pick up my ex-girlfriend and she weighed a little bit more than her. Not a lot, but a little bit. Anyway, so I went to pick her up. Whoop, super simple. Picked her up, held her there, smiled like you saw in the photo. Uh, it was awesome. Put her rack down. Super light. Great. And I was like, oh, hey, can I get a picture of your husband too? Because he was super nice too. So I got a picture with this guy, Mr. Ben Moreland. <sighs> the luckiest man on the face of the earth, if you ask me. Because they're rich and she's beautiful and she seems super sweet and bubbly and nice. And I... Couldn't get enough of her. But I had to leave because I was second line and the third person was like, my turn. Uh, so we did that. And after that, uh, we saw this other chick, Yesenia Ponce. Uh, I'd never met her before. Apparently she's one of the Anna Cherie's fitness models or gym buddies or whatever. She was there wearing Cherie fit. Um, I don't usually do this, but I was like, forget it. I'm already here. Hey, can I get a photo with you too? Because all the other guys I was with, 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 I can't even talk. That's how nervous I am. All the other guys were getting a photo with her, so I was like, I'm going for it too. So I was like, oh, can I get a photo too? She took a photo, and uh, I said, her name is Yesenia Ponce. Uh, more like, yes, Ponce Onya. <laughs> As a sex joke for all you ladies out there. <laughs> Ooh. Um, then we also met these two ladies who gave me the CBD oil. UFC fighters, Tisha Torres and Raquel Pennington. <sighs> now... If you thought Yesenia Ponce was not interested in me, these chicks blow her out of the water because these chicks like each other. So they were nice, and they were nice enough to take the photo. Super sweet. Uh, Tisha's definitely the female. Uh, Raquel is definitely the male. Um, there's no back and forth. It's like, oh, tonight I'm the guy. Tonight you're the girl. Nope. Nope. Tisha's the girl. Raquel's the guy. Period. And uh, last but not least, I got to meet... Eva Marie and her husband, Jonathan Coyle. 
Um, if you've been following my page, you know that there's a little bit of bad boy blood between us um, because apparently I commented something at some point in time. I didn't even realize I did anything and they both blocked me. But that was with my old Instagram, the one that I miss and love and care about. Um, but luckily for me, they were nice. They were growing up about it and they had no clue who the heck I was. So <laughs> I just got the picture and I got her to sign this Funko right here, the Funko box right there says XOXO Eva Marie, I believe. Maybe it says Natalie. It says XOXO F U. Huh? Oh, I'm just kidding. It doesn't say that. She did not remember me. But so I got this one and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, twelve. So this is basically my twelfth, I believe, if I count it correctly, using first grade math. Uh, my twelfth WWE Funko signed by a WWE superstar. Uh, which is kind of a bummer because 12 is my number, 12, 12, my birthday. And that's her who I have a, a, an unknown rivalry with, but she didn't know. She had no idea. She has purple hair now. She's no longer all red, everything. That was the only thing I regretted. I brought a red Sharpie and I was going to get her signed with red. I got caught up in the moment. You got to take your time, people, when you get these autograph signs. Make sure you have everything, your I's dotted and your T's crossed because all it takes is one thing like that to go through and it's over. And you're like, oh no, I was going to get her to sign in red and she didn't. And now it's over. But that is it. I said I got quite a few things basically for free. Got to hang out with my buddy Zoe. Always fun. Um, once again, if you get a chance to go to a Fit Expo and you're a dude and you love women and you love fit women, take it. Use a Groupon like we did. Get it for half the price. Um, yeah. And just let your eyes wander. I said, don't bring your girlfriend because you will be sleeping in the doghouse or on the couch or in your car or in the ditch or some unpleasant place because she will see you, see them, and it will be bad. That is it. Thank you, everybody, once again for watching this video. Don't forget to like this video, comment below, and subscribe. I always and forever will truly appreciate it. And until next time.